Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today I'm going to talk uh, about uh, the expiratory sensitivity, which is one of the cycle of the word cycle of, which, is, which means the determination of uh, the inspiratory time or inspiratory cycle. And these terminations uh, might be different according to the mode of ventilator, the type. Of the uh, of the ventilator, if it is a volume control ventilator, so these uh, terminations will be by volume. After the delivery of the reset volume, the inspiratory line will close. It will not allow uh, delivery of uh, any more air. When you come to the pressure control ventilations, this that of the pressure control ventilations that. Uh, the uh, inspiratory lamp will close, or the demand valve will close, after the lapse of certain time. You said that, so it is a time cycle. Sometimes in the the problem of the pressure controlled ventilations uh, or the pressure support ventilation itself, it is not like that. The pressure support ventilations you terminate, or you end the inspiration of the ventilator. When the flow reaches to certain preset flow, so this is a, it is a flow cycle. This flow cycle before it was a fixed one in the ventilator, but now they made it evident in front of you and variable. You can change it. So this that's why this uh, what we call expiratory sensitivity or you have to change the cycle so when we talk about expired sensitivity we mean that we are handling the pressure support mode of ventilations because the pressure support mode of ventilations the cycle is terminated by certain percent preset value of this of the peak flow you say you set for the ventilator to close at 30% when the flow comes down to 30% of the big flow or 25% from the big flow or 40% of the big flow so this means that you are handling two important points this is the, this is the inspiratory time to increase or decrease and accordingly the tidal volume for the inspiratory time at the shared in the, de in the determinations of the tidal volume and at the same time this is very important uh, for adjustment uh, this of the anisperity time of the machine with the anisperity time of the patients and let's go and see so this is the pressure support ventilations this is the pressure you reach to it and this is a uh, stop or is ended when the flow reaches to certain preset flow, this is a flow from the peak flow. That's why, if you set it at thirty percent of the peak flow, this will be the inspiratory time. If you put put it at fifty percent of the peak flow, this is will be the inspiratory time. Seventy percent of the peak flow, this will be the inspiratory time. If you go down. This is 20% of the big flows, but sure, this will be the inspiratory time. So, by adjusting this expiratory sensitivity, you will adjust the inspiratory time of the machine, not of the patient. That's why this will determine or will define the tidal volume. That's why. <coughs> this is 40% of the big flow. This is the cycle. This is the time, and accordingly the tidal volume. If you make it another one, 27 percent, instead of being 40 percent, it became 27 percent. This means that you are increasing the inspiratory time, and accordingly the tidal volume should increase. This that's it. When you when you increase, this is the this is this is the, the sensitivity to that level to that level of flow when you go more this means that you are increasing the inspiratory time instead of being that came to that 
So the tidal volume will increase. Simple one. When you look at the, another important point, when we talk about the inspiratory time, this is an inspiratory time of the machine, of the ventilator. What about the inspiratory time of the patient? I should match the inspiratory time of the patient. That's why the expiratory sensitivity, one of its aim is to match, is to make some sort of synchronization of the inspiratory time of the ventilator with that of the patient. How can you know? So look at this curve. This at the end of this pressure time curve is smooth. This means that the two are together. The inspiratory time of the ventilator, the same like that of the patient. So they are co-opted together, and this is the end of the inspiration by the ventilator with the end of the inspiration by the patient. That's why it's smooth. Look, if the ventilator, the cycle you put it, is shorter than the patient, this means that the inspiratory limb will close no more air will be delivered to the patient, but still the patient is in an inspiration. So this is a curve will be like that. On the other hand, if the ventilator, the patient ended his inspiration, but still the ventilator is inflating the patient, so the patient is taking, is uh, doing expiration and the, and the ventilator is inflating him. So this is what we overshooting. Look at it. This is the cycle, 33%. This is 33% of the peak flow. Look, this is a little bit overshooting. And this parity rate is high. Overshooting, this means that the patient is making any expirations and uh, the ventilator is giving him, still delivering air to him. So the time of the ventilator is larger than that of the patient. What we do is to shorten the inspiratory time of the ventilator to be the same like that of the patient. So that's why the shooting started to disappear. And at the same time, the inspiratory rate decreased. Beforehand, it was 32. Now, it is 27. This is a trial to coapt or to make the same, the cycle of the ventilator, the same like that of the patient in order to make some sort of good matching. Another important point, and this, this is the last point for the expatch sensitivity. Sometimes there is some sort of leakage. Leakage from the endotracheal tube or from the circuit or from the intercostal tube or the presence of bronchial blood or something like that. Imagine that the leakage is uh, equals 35% of the big flow or it is, uh, say, it is 15 liters per minute. And your sensitivity is that 25%, this makes 10 liter per minute. So the flow will never drop to 10 liter per minute because the leakage is 15 liter per minute. That's why the inspiratory cycle will not be terminated. And this is some sort of safety in the machine. If it is not terminated, it will be terminated by time after 3 seconds. So the cycle will be 3 second inspirations. Regardless, whatever, what, what the patient, what is the cycle of the patient. So the patient might take one, two, three cycles during these inspirations. He's fighting this machine. What to do? To, what to do is uh, to make the, to decrease uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, or to increase the uh, cycle of, uh, the flow of the cycle of, I think, I mean, to decrease in spite of time. To change the cycle off instead of being 25%, which makes 10 liter per minute, say to 45%, 45%, which makes about 20 liter per minute. Here the leakage is 15 liter per minute. I made it 20 liter per minute. So the machine will sense 20 liter per minute and the close at 20 liter per minute. So the cycle can be terminated. So in this case, I should so shorten the inspiratory time, or in another way, I should uh, uh, increase the expiratory sensitivity instead of being uh, 10 liter per minute to be more than the leakage, which is 15 liter per minute, uh, to be 20 liter per minute. So this is uh, that's it. So I have to adjust it in order to make the patients take his inspirations and within a shorter time.
otherwise this will make uh, the patient will fight it so with the leakage uh, I have to increase sensitivity and instead of being 25 to 40 45 something like that it is gradually till the cycle is terminated tell this uh, otherwise the cycle will continue to be for three seconds thank you